We're going to use R to solve the New York Times spelling B. The New York Times spelling B, you can find it at this address here. Basically, the goal of this game is to find uh, words that are made up out of these seven letters here. So, uh, for example, veal would be a word that's made up uh, of these letters. Um, we can also reuse letters potentially as well. Um, let's see, I think uh, you can use hive. Um, and so on. The key thing is that the, that the words have to be at least four letters long. And uh, the other thing is that they all have to contain the letter V. So there's several rules. So we're going to just write down these rules in R. So the first rule would be basically uh, have to use only the seven letters. We also have to make sure that we include the central letter. So include the central letter um, and the, the central letter. And then the third uh, condition is that over four letters long. So only words over four letters. So, okay, so how are we gonna approach this project? So essentially we're, we're gonna get a list of words. So we're gonna load a list of words into R. So I will just uh, put this code here. So we're gonna load the tidyverse packages uh, to help us to work with the data. And we're gonna then load in a dictionary from this location. So we'll load in uh, this dictionary. Um, and we'll also have a look at the dictionary. So if we look at it, so you see the here, that it contains a number of words that really don't meet the conditions that we're looking for. So they're kind of, you know, different, um, you know, numerical and other characters. So we're just gonna clean it up a bit. So we're gonna basically take our dictionary. We're going to make sure that all of the words are uppercase. And we're also gonna make sure that the word from start to finish is made up entirely of A to Z or A to Z. So let's, let's do it like this. So we're gonna filter for our, our word we're going to use this to represent so this kind of um, hat or char uh, character that basically means that the start of the word or start of the string so it's saying from the start of the word and then a to z essentially from like so essentially this means any one a b c d etc and then plus means we're going to, we're going to make like one or more of these and then this uh, dollar symbol means the end of the string so basically what we're saying is from the start of the string to the end of the string, make sure that we only have these letters A to Z. So let's run that. So if we run that, let's have a look at our dictionary now. So now you can see that essentially we have a cleaner list of words. There, the next thing we're gonna do is we need to basically get some conditions that will enable us to find the solutions here. So the first condition we're gonna apply is we need to make sure that the like the words that we're looking for, they're all only made up of these letters. So to do that, we're going to filter, we're gonna use the string detect function again, which basically says like, you know, is there a match? And we're gonna filter to make sure that from the start of the string to the end of the string, it's made up only of these letters. So Y-A-E, L-H-I-V, like that. So if we run that command, um, aha, uh -huh. so what I did there, I need to add the plus to say match one or more. So there we go. So now, so basically it's finding all the words. We also need to make sure that we are only picking words that are greater than or over four letters long. So in fact, let's kind of, let's, let's uh, copy these uh, conditions down here so we can sort of track how we're going. So, um, so basically this is, we have to use only the seven letters. The second condition, so the, this kind of condition here is gonna be that we, the word has to be uh, only over four letters or greater than or equal to four letters long. So we're going to filter for the, st the string length of the word is greater than or equal to four. So if we run that command, it's basically going to you know, filter out a bunch of short words. And then the final thing is we've also got to include the central letter. So to do that, we're going to filter for V. And it doesn't matter where it, where it appears, it just has to appear essentially. So if we run that, you'll see that it will actually show us all of the possible words that we could use. Now there's one more thing we want to do. So uh, let's make sure as well that we can um, kind of find the best words first. So we're gonna uh, kind of sort or arrange these words by the length of the word. And we're gonna do that so that the, 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 the longest words are at the top. So to do that, so okay, so interesting. First of all, I'm not sure some of these will be legitimate words <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the New York Times uh, Spelling B, but let's try some of them. So, so that's on the word list, but that's fine. Let's find let's find the ones that are probably closer. So these would be, in fact, let's add a new column which has the length of the word. So 
we'll add the length of the word is um, is this. Yeah, and we'll just use that basically in our sorting function. So if we run that, you can see that it actually shows us the word length now. So let's find a word that's probably likely to be. So heavily, for example, I think is a word that's very likely to appear in the New York Times spelling bee. So if we run that. Yeah, so that's um, that's finding uh, it's a seven letter word. Um, there will be other ones, for example, um, like uh, let's have a look, um, lively and so on. So <laughs> uh, recommending it, yeah. Um, so essentially this is how we can solve the New York Times spelling bee. Um, I think one more thing we want to do, it would be nice to generalize this so we don't have to always kind of type these things in manually. So let's convert this to a function. So the way that we can do that is we can actually say, uh, let's have uh, a function. So uh, let's call our function uh, find uh, New York Times spelling bee solutions. And then we're going to give our candidate letters. So we're going to say candidate letters. And the candidate letters, essentially, this is going to have, uh, it's going to look like this, right? So um, if we, so yeah, okay, what we're going to do is we're basically going to translate this here directly. So first of all, we'll specify a dictionary. And we're going to pull this uh, into the function. So to do that, we're going to go like that and we'll get rid of the view. And what this means now is that we can uh, go to here and we can use this function. So we have to change this here to be candidate letters instead. So we're going to say, um, in fact, let's let's call it candidate letters, regular expression. And it's going to be built up of a few components. So we're going to use the string strc for kind of string concatenate for join together. So we're going to say, you know, first of all, let's, let's have our uh, kind of start of the string and like our opening. We'll also take the candidate letters, so we'll put, put those in, and then we'll have the very end, we'll have um, like like that. Um, and so if we run that, I'll just show you an example of that. So if that's like, you know, ABCD, uh, it's going to produce a regular expression that looks like that, which is exactly what we want. So rather than have, um, you know, this here directly, we're actually going to use this instead. Right. Now, also for the V, um, we need to just find a way of sort of uh, making sure that the V is, or that we can sort of specify that. So I think the way we'll do that is we'll say that the, the uh, let's have a sort of required letter here, um, and then we just use that um, in our function. So let's let's t like make all this practical. We'll look actually at an example. So we'll say, okay, let's pick our, our, our letters again. Um, so our letters, <laughs> uh, we'll grab these ones, so we'll pick all those. Um, so find me all the cases where um, our candidate letters, right, are that, the required letter is V, um, and dictionary, we just use the default uh, dictionary so far above. Um, aha, aha, whoops, I, sh I should have I put this at the start so that the pipe function works. So if we do, um, if we do that, um, that's odd, so why is this not working? Let's have a think about this. So uh, first of all, let's make sure our dictionary is there. That's great. So candidate letters is there. The required letter is there. Okay. Um, let's maybe block out some of these and see how far the function gets before. Okay, so it gets that far. Let's add in a bit more. So we'll um, have a kind of like that. Um, and we'll also add in that. Um, interesting. I, I'm sort of wondering if it maybe has to do with that. Let's have a look. Okay, okay, okay. So I think what may be happening here is that uh, our candidate uh, letters regular expression is not working for some reason. Uh, let's just print it out and have a look. Okay, oh uh, yeah, so okay, there's why. So I forgot to put the plus sign in here. So let's uh, add that in. So this is a good, uh, <laughs> or maybe bad, uh, kind of uh, bug fix. So let's uh, check it in like that. Fantastic. The thing is that um, bugs are always, it can be actually pretty fun to find. So let's uh, put them in like that. And we'll, now we'll run it and now we'll come up with all of the ones we want.